she's still inside that little compartment area. She's scared, very scared. And she seems to be panicking a little bit. In the midst of all of this, you do notice that Andromeda has been able to somewhat stabilize herself, and she is standing again. And that's where we're at. Um, hey, I want I want to try to use my um, calming presence to see if I can calm her down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just just try to comfort her. I'm not a comforting person, so mm -hmm. <laughs> my character does it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there, okay, there, so, all right. Yeah, so you're up there, and they're there now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Better on the head. You're okay. <laughs> Come here. However, <laughs> however, you actually do decide to comfort her. She does eventually crawl out and meet up with you. Mm -hmm. Um, aside from my animations aren't working. Aside from the door, but to the south. Everything else is closed. East side's closed. West side's closed. After she comes out, the compartment closes. The door to the south is open. The first door is, anyway. Andromeda uh, says to you all, she says, I'm going to go, or um, I've been able to uh, redirect some of my power, and I should be okay to, to to go for a little while, but I'm going to need to be hooked up to a power source once we get on board to uh, basically to Oh, that's understandable. Alive. It's Does understandable. Does she move on her own? What's that? Does she able to move on her own or do we have to... Like, right now she can. Yeah, okay. right now she's moving. Um, she's just down an arm. Yeah. Yeah. She says, I'm going to go see if I can open up this door to our ship while you all Figure out what's going on here. So she leaves and starts doing some things. You hear her banging away and stuff like that. All right, um, uh, Imogen, um, what happened to the uh, the life pods? Why were they destroyed? Because we encountered somebody that's in there trying to fix them. That's all, Devin. So Devin destroyed the life pods, and now he's trying to fix them. Yes. I didn't. I, I guess he didn't expect to have to get out of here. You know, it's his fault. We are where we are right now. He let them out. What he let what out? He let he let the dragons out, and then once he let the dragons out, the ghost came. Uh, these spy these spider looking things. Yes, that's your dragon. But that's not that's just a baby. That's nothing. We're lucky. Are there more of them? We're lucky we we, we, we haven't seen one yet. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, I probably should have made this uh more apparent last time. We're only in one section of this ship. What you see is only basically one fourth oh, of the okay. entire space station. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. it was the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I should have made that apparent last time. Um, so, how would you get to the other sections? There's ways to get there, um, I'm sure, but you would have to look. I haven't found uh, any. I don't remember us coming across any extra hatches or. Yeah, me either. Were, did you get, like, did we find any of those bodies of those, I guess, spider things? I thought we found some that were dead in the room with Devin. Do we see any anywhere else along the way? Maybe we should try to take something with us, like even like a piece of it. <laughs> no, I think actually the only one that's, the only ones that you saw were the ones that Devin had. Should we take a piece of those pods that they I assume came out of like so we can 
I don't know where he would know what this is. Um, I, I, I could take a sample of the blood, but I mean, there's all of the, as far as I, ever, I can recall, any of the dead creatures are in the room with Devin. No, I mean, remember those pods we saw? I have to imagine they came out of there. Oh, the pods. I, I'm sorry. Yes, the the pod egg type things. Um, we, we, I mean, we can we can sure go up there. Um, Should we? Uh, I don't. I don't re- remember last session. Um, I don't have any test tubes or anything with me. I'd have to run back to the ship to get them. And remember that's we cut off found out that the doors were locked. Yeah, we can't. Even if we could cut off a chunk of it, like just haul it with us. Tear off a chunk. Mm-hmm. As you're talking, uh. You hear a door open up. Andromeda has opened up the door. Do we want to um, take a sample with us and get the hell out of here? Um, I- I- Imogen, did you see any of the large ones on in this section of the ship, or anywhere? Or they in? Or they elsewhere? They can be anywhere at any time. You wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. I'm okay with leaving. By the time you see it, it's it's. It's too late. Um, um, as you're talking, in, both the west and east door open. And on the west door, you hear... Yeah, let's, let's roll. Let's go. Um, yes, let's let's, let's start running. Right. Um, as you turn around to start heading out cable you see something that looks very familiar to what you saw when you left can't remember the name of the planet off the top of my head but it's the the uh, decaying planet the one that was acid uh-huh. you remember what I'm talking about yeah 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 I'm sure yeah what, okay. what was it that I saw familiar like yeah, what was that? What was it that I saw that was familiar? You see something that just looks like it looks like a ghost, and you see Imogen freeze, and she's looking. You notice know she's looking in that same direction. Which direction is it for us? It's in the west side of the door, west door. Let's go. I think we all should go. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Uh, like, grab more. her and let's go. Like, and you hear. Yeah, and then you see yeah, a I'll couple of <laughs> red dots on Helen's forehead, and you hear, <laughs> and then you hear a loud. <laughs> noise and you turn around you see Helen's head is blown off and then she collapses to the ground Oh shit! and then you see a couple of red dots on Titanic's forehead and you hear another <laughs> and Titanic's head is blown off and he drops I start shooting <laughs> 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 and as that happens then you hear and you see right in between Cable and Titanic's body a large black figure quickly run to the west side and tackle what you think is a ghost. And it looks like they there appears to be like some kind of something going on there. They're busy. <laughs> or should we let's grab I, I, bodies and drag them there's back? There's nothing with, without a head. There's nothing we can do. Um, the heads are gone, right? Yes. Um, I'm gra- grab image and I'm say we're, we're, we're gone. Yeah, we're, we're going. There's, not, there's nothing we can do. Okay. And just start running. <laughs> All right. Run, run, run. Yeah, I don't have access. Uh, let's see. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm out of here. (laughs) 
you hear like a whole bunch of noises and stuff going on behind you. And let's get in the ship. Drop it. Close the door. The door behind you does close, and, and the one in front of you opens, and you are able to jump into our ship and to Halifax, which I'll switch over to now. Work, um, work. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna run I'm gonna, this I'm gonna, ship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yo, I'm yo, we need to, yeah, go. Yeah, break, go, break go to the slot. bridge. Yeah, and I'm ready for the bridge. Yep, I'm, I'm standing behind and I'm disengaging everything that I can find on the door to, to break loose. Drop it. Are we safe to take off? Oh yeah, yes we are. Um, yes, I, just break it. I'm, just, I'm yelling, break us yeah. loose. <laughs> break I, I us just, loose. I just take off. Okay, you um, you detach. Uh, actually, I shouldn't even say you detach. You rip, you rip right off of. Yep. Right off the yeah, space I'm, station. I'm, I'm holding as tight as I can to anything that's around me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you safely make it away from the space station. Um, but as you are leaving. Um, I forgot to grab a sound effect. Shoot. Um, as you're leaving, the uh, short length, you get a short length um, uh, uh, communication feed inbound to you. I open it up and start reading. Um, it's Okay, once you open up that line of communication, you hear, um, looks like you made it out alive. Yes, we did. Lucky you. Is this I Devin? Can them, I can hear them clawing at the door now. It's only a matter of time. What are they, Devin? You've met your dragons and ghosts. You're fucked. Do you know what they are? Good luck. You start hearing a tapping noise. It sounds like a um like a like maybe a handheld uh device. Um very distinct beeping noises. And it starts making like a D B B beep beep noise and it gets like a little bit faster and a little bit faster and Devin starts just laughing he's just laughing where's it coming from is it coming from the um the audio of his audio. or yes yeah, he, get us away from here get us get us away I'm from already here flying. I, <laughs> as he's talking I am obviously flying farther and farther away from this thing yeah okay um as you're flying away, you can hear that the communication is breaking because you're because of the, of the distance. It gets a little more crackly and a little more crackly, and uh, I'm gonna get in my seat and buckle down and yeah. And after a few more seconds, uh, you see behind you a gigantic explosion occur. Uh, brace for impact. It's pretty big, and it it takes out a good portion. From what, from what you can tell from your distance, it takes out a good portion of the space station. And uh, after a few more seconds, you feel a little bit of a bump, but you're far enough away where it doesn't cause you any issues. We kind of like fly back and look to see if there's anything like left of the wreckage. Kind of like keep your distance. That's up to you guys. Um, I mean, it's pretty much just the two of you now <laughs> in Andromeda. So, I I don't think we even mess with the wreck wreckage. Well, it's the three of us because we got Imogen with us. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Well, let's. And I would have brought her up to the bridge with me, and I'd have strapped her in too. But yeah. I'm going to stabilize the ship. Word, I have never talked about. I need, to, I need about to go. 
I need to go. I need to go and update what's going on with Mother. I, say, I think you're captain now. Just so you know, I think you've been upgraded. I, I, Who's that? I don't. I, I, don't, I don't know. Ward. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Ward, you're captain now. Okay. Um. <laughs> like yeah. I'd, we need to get to our um. When did? Just get us into a, a a safe spot. Just keep us going. I'm away gonna stay, I'm, gonna keep, I'm staying far um, enough away that obviously we're keeping our distance, but I'm going to stabilize ourselves. We're not yep. going farther. Are we in a? I forget the sector that we're in. Let me pull it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna um check on check on Imogen and her seat, make sure that everything's okay with her, and then. Uh, it's, they, I, I gotta. I'm gonna uh, cable. I'm gonna. I, I need to go talk to mother. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll keep the ship. There, there's st- there's stuff on the ship right now that won't even work <laughs> until 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 we get this all sorted out. All right. I will uh, keep us focused on the space station at least for a distance, so I can see if anything changes. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into mother. Okay. And uh, okay, yeah, you don't have you don't have to pull cable out for this. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. No, because I, I'll be I'll be relaying everything that, that happens after that. I'm gonna say right. um, I'm gonna say mother um, Helen is a fatality. Um, Titanic is a fatality. Um, please mark them as such. Um, all command functions from the captain need to be transferred over to myself. Okay. You get a, a couple little blips and bleeps and you notice on the screen in front of you it says confirmed. And you have been granted uh, full, full captain power, basically. Um, I'm going to give a, a, a quick log rundown of what happened. Um, I guess I can do a, 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 a vocal transcript. I haven't been in here when she's done that. I don't know if that's how that works or not. Um, no, you don't have to. You can you can um, you can type it up when you get a chance. Okay. Well, I was going to say that this is yeah. All right. Um, However, please. you do have access to Helen and Titanic's logs. Yes. Okay. Um, fact. Oh. Actually, this will be very interesting. <laughs> uh, I will give the you access. I didn't even think about this. I will give you access now. Oh, a bunch of stuff just popped up. <laughs> All right, I, I will have to. Yeah, there's a there's quite a bit to. Uh, Okay, I'll have to. I'll, I'll run through that stuff later, and um, <laughs> the uh, what now? What now? What now? What now? <laughs> oh, I'm prepared for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, um, m- m- mother. Um, what's the state of the ship around the airlock? Um, did we sustain any damage? Minor damage. Detected. Minor damage. You will not be able to use that area until it gets repaired. Uh, we do have another airlock, do, do we not? Um, you or is, able, it, or is you it just the ramp? The outside ramp? What what got destroyed was basically the, the, dock. um, the docking okay. port. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, all right, we're going to continue on to our continue on to our route, um, and and that, that's all. That's going to be all for, for me with mother right now. Then um, I would be very very shaken at this point. Yeah. Um. So, uh, cable um, command of the ship has been transferred over. Um, I'm going to be going through their logs and stuff. Uh, Maybe right after we get done with um, cryo, we need we need to. Andromeda just got to repair. We have got to get to a safe location. This ship is not 
not built to travel with such a light crew. Um, we need to we need to get to our location, which is uh, whatever. Should we take the image in a little bit, or to, you know, it, it, like I heard a quarter, like just you know. Yeah, set the go. Yeah, go ahead and set our route so that we're heading yeah. back to where we're going. Um, we won't we won't go into cryo yet. Um, and you know, of course, we won't jump yet. Yeah. Um, but let's continue to put space between what just happened and let's let's go to decompress in the mess hall. What you think? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, Andromeda is nodding. <laughs> Andromeda, how long do you think it'll take you to kind of get yourself at least to uh, functional? Well, since I'm missing my arm, um, basically all I can do is just kind of... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of just... Um, not repair that area, but you know, just keep it stable, stabilize that area. There we go. Will, you, will you be able to handle the ship and everything while we're in hyper sleep, cryo sleep? What, what I, would it take? I'll have limited capacity. I will not be able to see you off. I will not be there when you wake up. Um. Okay. Hold on. Um. What uh, What do you think it would take to repair? To repair. Well, so she would need an arm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need parts. We're going to have to find some kind of, I don't know, maybe like a junkyard or... So a mechanical part wouldn't wouldn't help at all for this? No, no. No, uh, maybe maybe if, if I had if I had my arm, I probably could have, I probably could have repaired it, but without it, there's nothing I can do. I'll see. Okay, so the arm got ripped off. It didn't just get smashed. Okay. All right. Well, um, if there's anything I can do to help you get help you get you know, patched up, so you don't you know get damaged any further, I mean, just let me know. Um, but let's all let's all head to the mess hall. Uh, Imogen, you good for that? I know this has been very very. I, I can't even imagine the how you're feeling. He. She is visibly shaken. Um, you notice that she is sweating a lot. She's showing a lot of... Ward, you would notice this. She's showing a lot of signs of uh, panic attack. Um, and I don't believe... But, I don't believe we have any pills for that. However, she is responsive. And she... So she is nodding. All right, um... Uh, All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a uh, pull a uh, a nap relief pill out and say here, um, please take this. I think this will help a little bit. Okay, she takes it, and uh, Andromeda speaks up. She's like, I need I have to head through the repair shop now. I'm still leaking, and you see the. All right. All right. Okay. You you you, you, you head on there. Um, yeah. Do you need help, or are you okay? I can take care of it. Okay. I'm gonna head over to the mess hall. Yeah. Okay. She heads to her. Oops. Over there. Uh, Imogen follows along. Okay. And I'm I'm gonna reach up into um into one of the the cupboards there and, and pull out and hopefully we there was still a small piece of cornbread that was wrapped up. Yep, there's a couple people's pieces laying around. Okay. I'm gonna sit that down, you know, and get her get her some water and see what else I can kind of scrounge up. Um just to kind of help everybody decompress a little bit. Okay. Um So, okay, but what what are you, what are your thoughts yeah. on this? I, uh, <laughs> I I'm obviously visibly shaken to you and just uh, just try to like comprehend it all. I, I don't know. I, I at this point, you know, I don't know what anything I saw. I'm totally lost. 
Imogen, what were the ghosts? So, well, she looks up. I'm gonna say you're 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 safe here. Nothing nothing got on board of the ship. She just shakes her head. She says, "My daddy just told me that." Usually, if there's dragons around, ghosts are far behind. Ghosts are somehow attracted to dragons. Hmm. But I don't know what they are. I don't. I don't know. They're. They just look like ghosts. What's how big are they? If I had to, like, from what I saw, how big would I assume the ghost is? You would. See they it's probably got a couple feet on you well it's definitely nothing I've seen before um so you're you're, you're safe now um we are heading to wherever and I'll list the planet that we're heading to and say this this is where we're, we're heading um there will be somebody there that can that can help all of us um I'm sorry that you had to go through this. I really am. Um, Those dragons. I don't know what they were studying. But, I mean, I was, I was, I, I, ever since I was born, I've been, I've, I've been sick. And maybe they thought the dragons somehow could help. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, so they were... The people on the base were studying the dragons? Yes. My daddy yeah. my daddy led the team. Um, do, you, do you know how long they have been doing this, or is this just... They didn't tell you too much about it? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been probably a good few months. No. Probably longer than that. See, the problem is, is I suffer. I suffer from blackouts. Um, and sometimes they last a while. It's kind of like I go into a coma. Um, hey, Ward, do you think it'll be safe for her to go into cryosleep? Let me go and let, let's go. Cryosleep is generally safe. Um, as far as I know, there's nothing that really keeps you from going into cryosleep. Um, I, I assume that we, if she was already in a coma, I mean, she's she's not going to go into a coma going into cryosleep. Okay. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think. I'm um, very familiar with cryosleep. I actually spent a lot of time in there. It seems like if I had a blackout, I would end up in a cryo in, in cryo. Oh, uh, so you would black out and, you, and then you would wake up getting out of a, a cryo tube? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's, let's, finish, let's finish a little bit of our meal here and then uh, can we go take a look in the med lab? Yeah. Um, Cable, did you get hit by anything? Are you are you okay? Um, I'm okay. It hit me. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna um, toss him a um, nap relief pill. Said if you need it, this is what you should take. So yeah. you know, add good a, old add a, good old booze is good enough for me. And I uh, start heading back to my find my bottle of liquor I have downstairs. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, sometimes though we need to. Sometimes though we need to maintain our I focus. But right now, worry, right now you. you're okay. <laughs> I won't overdrink. Okay. <laughs> Oops. All right. And I go down and have a couple glasses of uh, my fine liqueur that I have left over. My whole other bottle. I just sit on my bunk bed, staring out. 
Okay, I'm gonna take uh, Imogen, walk with her down to the med lab. Okay. But yeah, but as we are walking past the door that the dog is in, I'm going to make sure that the door is latched all the way, <laughs> and then then I, I want to I want to look in and see see what I see. Um. Well, that's quite obviously or quite obvious that dog is fine because as you walk by it jumps up and starts barking pretty wildly i say whoa 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 it's okay it's just it's just me don't worry about it i'm gonna say i imagine that he's kind of our mascot here um andromeda you've already met her um has been working with him we'll get the two of you introduced at a later time but i didn't want you to freak out for hearing noises and not know what was going on we do have a, a big dog on the ship. <laughs> she looks pretty shaken up by it, and she actually runs ahead of you. I say, well, I guess that's best that could be expected. So I'll catch up with her and, you know, make sure the door closes behind us and say, you know, are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm all right. He's big, but you know, he's he's not what he. We don't have to worry about him. Okay. So let, let's let's go on into the med lab, and um, I'm going to check her very very thoroughly. Um, I'm gonna ask her if it's okay if I take a small blood sample, just because I I know she's been I'm, I, okay. I'll just tell her say I, I know you've been a pincushion for a lot of time, um, but I'm kind of starting from scratch here. So do you do you mind if I draw a little bit of blood? Uh. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so I'll draw uh, I'll draw a small vial of blood and then uh, put the band-aid on her and, and tell her that you know this is hopefully we shouldn't have to do this too many too many more times. As you draw the blood, you don't draw blood; you draw white liquid. Oh, okay. I, I try to keep it hidden from her. As soon as yeah. I see it's coming out white, I'm trying to keep it hidden from her. Okay. Okay. And, and just kind of just kind of put it away, and I'm going to be very, very calm, very nonchalant about about everything. Uh -huh. um, and say, uh, do you um, do you want some uh, dessert or anything? No, I'm I'm all, I'm all right right now. I don't I don't really uh, eat all that much. Just never really had that much of an appetite. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. Let's um. We're all getting ready to go into cryo so that we can um jump to uh, what do we call it? Hyperspace. Uh, Hyper sleep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're oh, ready. Oh. To, yeah, yeah. So um, we're we're all going to get ready to go to hypersleep. Um, do you want me to let let me um let me walk with you up there so we can go ahead and get you sorted. Then we can get the stuff in the rest, the ship taken care of, so you don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. You can just get some rest. Okay. Heal up. Cool. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I will walk with her up to the cryo deck. Okay. And um, do the pods have names on them, or are they just kind of numbered and they're just generic? Um, they do have names on them. Not all of them, though, because you got you've got more cryo pods than you do. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to check over. And um, while I was in the while I was in the med bay, I would have grabbed. Um, I would have grabbed a uh, hydration pill because in for a penny right. and for a pound for this bit. Yeah. Um, so I would have grabbed a I grabbed a hydration pill for her. Okay. And right. and uh, walked over to one. I'm going to walk her over to one of the pods that do not have a name on it. Okay. Um, that's one that's right next to ours. So I guess the the next one over, and say um this one's going to be yours for the remainder of the time here. 
Okay. Is there, um, I hand her the uh, dehydration pills. So here you go. This will keep you from getting uh, dehydrated too much. Okay. Um, she, she, she pops it. You've had your meal and everything. Um, is there anything else you need? I, can I trust you? Where can I trust you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kneel down and say, um, I am a medic by trade. I am somebody I, I have, have been trained to help absolutely everybody. Um, if there's anybody that you can trust, it would be me. I will. Well, anything's better than where I was. So, okay. Right, so I will help her on up into the um, help her up into the cryopod, and I'm paying special attention to um, how much she weighs hmm. as I help her into okay. the pod. Okay. Uh, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. And then, um, then I'll kind of you know kind of give her a wave and a, a pat on the head and you know close everything down and get it okay sorted. yeah she lays down complies and all that stuff all right then I guess oh she, yeah she's in I guess so she's in cryo now yeah she her eyes close and she right. looks like she's out okay so I'm out I'm checking the the stats on the pod does, does the stats on the pod look different than what I would expect yes they do. All right, I'm yeah, gonna pull out my you're, notepad you're, and just start just start taking notes. So everything that looks odd, I'm just I'm, I'm writing down at this point. Yeah, you um, do are. I, I believe she's actually in cryo sleep. Uh, you are well versed enough in androids to know that. Um, their behavioral modules are 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 made to um, mimic, mimic. Yes. So, based off of the readings that you're getting, yes, she believes she is in cry cry to sleep. And it and this is this is a normal type of process. That's so nothing out of the ordinary. All right. Um, I'm going to, um, let's see, is there a, is there a speaker in the workshop? Um, okay, if there's an intercom in the workshop. There is. However, she, she, it would take her a, a minute to reply. She would have to. All right. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll see. And I believe there's one where we're at on the cryo deck. Um. So is, is it is yeah. it more of a system wide broadcast, or do we tell it to go from point to point? Uh, you can do either way. All right. I'm gonna do point to point uh, directly to uh, the workshop and say. Uh, Andromeda, this is Ward. Um, hang out there. I will be there very, very shortly. Yeah, you can only assume that she heard you. Yeah. And I'm going I'm to head head down and then head back, and I'm going to swing by uh, Cable's room, knock on his door. Yeah, I left the door. Yeah, I, I opened up the door. You can see me a little bit more relaxed. Uh, you know, just, just hey, man, relaxed. Uh, everything... Everything, everything doing okay? All I'm ready to, get, ready to get in that chamber and get off the ship. I told you this ship was cursed. It's not this ship that's cursed, I'll tell you. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it happens um, that things go sideways. This is the first time that it's hit all of our... Um, it's the first time that it's hit our captain. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. I just never felt good. Um, let me. Let me. I'm gonna go check on Andromeda. I'll be back. All right. Well, I'll be up in the. Uh, I'm gonna start heading towards the cryo deck soon too. Are we leave. We get to sleep um, soon. I, you, just just hang, hang out here for a little bit. Um, okay. I, I got I got something. I'll, um, I'll be back. Okay. So I'm gonna. Can I go back by booze. Head straight from there to the <laughs> workshop. 
Okay, yeah, Andromeda is there. I'm on, and you know, as you walk, kind of knock right on the door. Uh, it's open. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm like, oh, so this is this is where you uh, this is where you hang out, huh? It's been a long time since I've been down here. Yeah, this is this is it. Um, it's a mess, but that's the way I like it. Organized chaos, as I call it. <laughs> there, there is nothing wrong with with organized chaos as long as you understand where everything is. <laughs> is that I've had my own piles of stuff in the past. Um, I'm gonna find something to pull up and to to sit down and say, um, did you notice anything particular about Imogen when we? When we ran, I know you didn't spend much time with her, but when we uh, ran past with her, no, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, should I have? No, no, I just want to make. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure that you know there was nothing that I had missed. I know she said that she suffered from blackouts. Um, I, I didn't notice if there was anything in the. Uh, in the uh, pod where she was located or not. Um, I didn't know if there was anything strange, unique about that base that may could have been contributing to that. Um, no. I was just, 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 just checking with you. I know sometimes you see things that the rest of us don't. Right. No, this, this was just a nightmare. I don't, I don't know. Um, this is, I've never heard of any of this stuff before. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna continue on to our continue on to where we're headed. Um, we will do what we can to uh, get you a replacement arm as soon as possible. Oh yeah, that would be great. Um, I I, sh- I should you know note to you that I was able to you know stabilize myself and actually. I kind of surprised myself. I came up with this, and she turns around and shows you. She's got a little pack on her back. Um, I, I, I was able to hook this battery up to me, so it'll help. Um, you know, keep me. Keep you, can, me you can be mo- you, so you can be mobile, and you don't have to be plugged into the wall of the ship. Exactly. So I, I'll be able to be as much assistance as I can with one arm. You know. Okay. Well, we we so, greatly uh, greatly appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'll be able to watch over the ship and um, and and, t- and tuck you out, tuck, tuck you all in, and wake you up. Okay, I'm, I'm also going to do my I'm going to do my best to load up some of the pl- supplies that we may need in the in the cryo deck so that you don't have to haul as much stuff. Um, you are a member of this crew. I want to be you know respectful of your time, especially Sounds since good. you're you know work, working with one arm. This is weird. But it's, What's what's we, weird? We lost. We lost our captain. Mm-hmm. Um, I have been granted the captainship of the ship at least for now. Oh, okay, boss. Um, well, you, it's 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 still it's still Ward for now. Um, we're we're just we're just trying to get to our destination here. Um. Then we'll, we'll we'll sort stuff out, have a little more time to decompress, but we we need to get this ship on the ground safe for all our sakes. I agree. Maybe all right. we maybe we could we could finish the job. I guess. I mean, I know we're all yeah. excited to work, but yeah, that's that's that that's. I mean, we've got we've got cargo that we need to we have to land anyway. Um, we might as well might as well finish up there. Um, okay. Well, let me know when you're ready not, to not finish up. But might as well actually make it there. Yeah. Uh, let me know when you're ready to go to sleep. I'll I'll talk you all in. Okay. Give us um, maybe a couple of hours, and then, then yeah. we'll start heading towards cryo deck. I, I, I like to tell you what I'll send out an announcement when well, when we're about ready. That'll work. Is that, is that cool? Yep. All right. Then we'll head out, and I am going to start combing the ship. Okay. Starting at the um, port where we came in, 
to make sure that nothing looks out of place at all. Gotcha. Um, so you want to say you take some time uh, just to go through, just yes. to sweep the whole ship? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not going to make you roll anything, um, but you do go through the entire ship and uh, you do not find anything okay. out of place. Okay. All right, so I'm going to head back to the bridge. Let's see. Can I can I interface with mother in the? I can't interface with mother in the captain's quarters. Can I? Um. Yes, you can. Yeah, but I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm going to go to the bridge because I'm not. I'm not ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm, I'm going to go in and talk to mother and say, um. Any, we say we're we're about to um go into uh, hypersleep. Um, is there anything out of the ordinary on the ship that we need to deal with at this moment? No anomalies detected. Okay. All right. I'll step out and then I will swing back by Cable's place. And which one is his? Which room is his? I'm going to throw Cable. Cable, I'm going to throw you down there. Yeah, I was say, I'm in the second room usually, so. Okay. Um, usually this, no, no, this one on the right side. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm very particular. All right. It's in my room. I'm going uh-huh. I'm I'm to stick my head in and be like, hey, hey, you, uh, you still, uh, coherent? And I, like, you see me just laying back with my eyes closed, just, uh, the bottle. It doesn't look like there's a lot of the bottle missing, but I'm just holding the bottle on the side and say, we're going to a planet. I'm ready. Still eyes closed, though. All right. Um, I'm going to walk over and sit beside him and kind of take the bottle out of his hands and say, do you mind? Yeah, you can have some. Yeah, and, and take a take a small swig of it and say, uh, say, all right, so um, here's what's going on. Andromeda has repaired herself enough to where she can help us with our hypersleep. We can get where we need to. We can get where we need to go to at least drop this stuff off and let uh, WIU know what's what's going on. Um, Imogen is up in the cryo deck. Um, I did give her a check over. Um, she seems to be very healthy. She's not spreading any no, that disease over here, right? I don't believe she's going to be carrying a disease. Um, she seems to be very healthy for someone that doesn't realize that she is an android. I like, I like, I just kind of look over like a kid android. Is that like normal? Well, considering that androids don't age and grow, well, I mean, their parts may age, their parts age, but they don't, you know, grow in size. It's a bit odd. Um, does she? It's just, she just. Does, she doesn't know she's an android. I assume. She does not. Not to my. Not to my knowledge, anyway. Um, when I when I when I drew blood from her when I drew blood from her it it came out as you know the andro- I don't I don't want to say android innards but <laughs> android, android blood. blood yeah it came out it came out as android blood um I believe I was able to uh, keep it hidden from her so she didn't see that um and if even if it's something that she's she's trying to keep hidden from us which I kind of doubt you know I did give give her a um a hydration pill you know to to keep everything keep everything up keep the uh keep the face up um so i mean we, we got a we got got Was a few Andro- different things did you tell andromeda i did not tell andromeda about that um but could she just like wake up in the middle of us sleeping um generally the uh cryopods you stay asleep until the pods wake you up but can it, can it keep an android asleep like can it keep them asleep i that I don't know. I think we should tell Andromeda because she might should? wake up to this thing, to her walking around. <laughs> it just might creep it her just out. Sounds, it's creepy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like one day, like a drug, would just be sitting in the bridge, and they're just like little child just walks by. I... <laughs> you know, well, um, and, and Ward in his 
weird, weird thoughts. Quickly, the thought briefly ran through his mind of, well, we could lock the tube. No, that's very bad. That's a very, very <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you won't um, be freaked out at all. <laughs> yeah. Freaked out android while we're all sleeping next to her. This, this locked it. Yes, yes. So she, she's, she's in there. Um, yeah. If, if you think that we should, we should tell Andromeda. Um, we can. She'll be awake the whole time. So, I assume she could figure out. Could she like figure out that this is an android even without us telling her? He didn't seem to catch on to that fact. But then again, I didn't explicitly ask. Hey, did you notice that Imogen is an android? So you, you know how um, how uh, direct, not direct. What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, you, you know how um, ah, mean words. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Well, I guess my anyway, thing- when she t- when she talks when, when she says stuff she she says stuff very bluntly. So I don't think that she would, you know, beat her in, in, uh, in, uh, t- intentionally beat around the bush. I would assume I would know that there's health monitors on these tubes too, right? Like, I yes, as, as soon as yeah, as soon as she gets up there, honestly, yeah, that's right because I didn't even think about that. But the, as soon as she sees the monitors on the tube, she's going to know what's going on. So we should probably, yeah, we should probably tell her. And yeah, right, and when, I feel right, bad right when you say that, the intercom comes on and says, uh, uh, "Hey, boss." You might want to come up to cryo deck. <laughs> oh man, she beat us there. Uh, uh, the question is, do you lie or did say you didn't know before you talked to her? <laughs> no, uh, I will. I, 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 I just take off running. I just, I just take off running. <laughs> I just say that's your job, Captain, and I just follow along. <laughs> yep. So I come, I come busting through the busting to the cryo deck door, and I was like, ah, oh, I wanted to, I wanted to do this in our own time. I didn't want you to find out like this. So, oh, hey, yeah. boss, I was just up here, just you know, I was, I was done doing what I was doing. I just figured I'd come up here and, you know, things over. I didn't know you put her down already, or did I? Maybe I did. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I had mentioned that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, so, um, she's come she's, up. Uh, she's a, she's an android. Yeah, yeah. I, so I assume she's looking at the, uh, she's looking at the readings on the on the tube. Yeah. Say so, yeah. She, as best I can tell, she is not aware that she is an android. Ooh. Um. Okay. Have you ever heard of an android being programmed as to not be aware? Uh, well, yeah, they, sure. Especially like you know, like the 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 ones that are tweaked, you know, to be like sex androids and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. And so I can not. walk up behind and I go, as I walk up behind the and I go, have you ever seen one made to be a child? That I have not. This, no, is, it, this is different. So, so, and I, I'm, I'm intrigued, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued about the, like I'm intrigued about the sex bot thing. Um, so so that they, they don't they're not aware that they are um, androids? No. And it, it could, you know, it makes them more human. Okay. Uh, I, uh, in my drunken state, say, Andromeda, it looks like you're a mom now. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm drunk. I'm all drinking. Hey, you can't stop. Uh, this, this might be a situation where it may take a village. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would say uh, it's. If, uh, I mean, this is new to me. But if she doesn't, if she, if she thinks she's human, um, there's for for one, there's got to be a reason why, mm-hmm. and two, um, if she finds out, there could be problems. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you know, th- th- I don't know if you guys ever heard of um, the incident with the Nostromo. Um, their android malfunctioned and caused a lot of problems on board. Um, so, you know, that was an older model, but it can still happen, you know, especially if this is something that was put together, you know, not outside of a, 
the manufacturing plant. Now, when I was um, to the GM, when I was checking her over, mm-hmm. did her skin appear aged properly? Were like were there scars or anything like that on her? Uh, I mean, you didn't do a real thorough check. So, okay, but you can see her now. Well, I mean, I can just kind of, yeah. I mean, you can't open a pod with them in cryo. So all we can do is you know, kind of look through the window of cryo, yeah. right? You can look yeah. through, but you can see well enough. Um, yeah, so, yeah. What uh, and and I'm going to say, and as I'm as I'm leaning over and I'm kind of you know muttering out loud and say, so she says she suffers from periodic blackouts and then she wakes up in cryo and that's if I remember correctly she says that's been, that's happened as long as she can remember if GM am I remembering that correctly mm-hmm. yeah yep I wonder if she's being slowly upgraded as to age and I look at Andromeda and say, uh, how difficult is it to um, to have uh, Android con- uh, consciousness transferred from one, not to be crass, but one body into another? It's not that hard. Yeah, it's not that hard. Um, here's a good question where you're going to have to answer pretty much as soon as you wake up, which is, are you going to tell anyone about her? Well, are we going to make her part of our crew and keep her a secret? Because if this is something that's kind of unique and after everything we just went through, there's a chance that they'll like just take her apart. We're definitely not going to let somebody just take her apart. Uh, um, do you think we now, can now <laughs> there were logs, GM, you're going to have to help me on this. There were logs that were extracted from the space station and I don't recall who actually was holding them. Oh, um, it was, I know it wasn't me, but was it Cable or was it Titanic that was holding those, that was holding the logs? I can't remember. Um, you know, that's a little bit of a plot hole. So let me fix that by just saying, um, I mean, it would be in the, it would be in our last recording and we could, we could find in our last recording and who had them because, um, well, now without watching the whole thing. <laughs> well, we'll say that Andromeda has a copy. Okay. And made a copy. Okay. All right. Um, so Andromeda, we're going to have to parse these logs, see if we can um, figure out what's going on. Well, I think okay. the biggest thing is, like I said, we'll have to decide if we're going to protect her because... After what we saw, I can't picture us her getting to stay with us, and who knows what will happen if we. Well, I, I think it all depends. Up. I think it all depends on what the what the logs say. If it is something that Waylon Utani is aware of, then she will be safe to go back with them. If this is something that this guy was doing on his own, then yes, yeah, some decisions will have to be made. Well, we're also assuming that Waylon would tell you what wanted to find out what happened there. And- scour her memory banks damaging her or something like that to find out well we will um let's let's see see there is nothing say andromeda there is no way to tap into somebody's memory banks when they're uh to into an android's memory bank in cryosleep without them knowing about it is there um androids uh we do not have well yeah, I don't think we have the tools to do that here. All right. Well, maybe we can. Um, not while she's in cryo. Not while she's in cryo. Okay. Maybe we should just keep her like secret. Say she's been part with us for a while, or keep her on the ship without anybody seeing her, and we find out what we need to do to do I, that. And I do suggest that we keep her in cryo um, until we figure out what's going on. Agreed. 
Um, and in drama, if you see a little child walk around the ship, then you know that she woke up from her cryo sleep on her own. Yeah, that would be very suspicious. Yeah, we need to. Um, this whole thing's been suspicious, Andromeda. Yeah, is, th- is there any way that we can um, that does mother interface with these cryopods, or are they um, are they manual? Basically, for monitoring and and functional purposes. Okay, can mother wake us up, or does it require um, Andromeda? Or is it require are you required to do this? Mother can. Okay. Um. I won't. I'm. I'm going to go over to the terminal, and I'm going to instruct mother to wake me up if she wakes up. Mm-hmm. That's that's possible. Um. Cable, would you like to be woken up as well, or you just want to sleep a pretty sleep? <laughs> uh, uh. Up to you, man. Up, mainly because you never know if you'll need the help. Okay, and I'll also program in to wake him, wake him up automatically as well. Okay. All right. Noted. Well, I think it's time to go get our sleep and hopefully wake up. We'll have some answers in our head. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say, hold on, hold on a sec. I left the, um, I left the hydration pills down in the med lab. I take off running. <laughs> Get on the med lab. I, uh, yeah, grab the grab the pills from the med lab and come back and like, here you go. Here's your hydration pill. Um, pop that. I'm gonna um, go down and look through some of these logs right before. Um, I, I need to make sure if there's something that we need to know before we land. Um, I'm, I'm going to look through some of Helen's logs. Hey, um, well, I happen to cry asleep and you know. You want to go to sleep? Yep. Okay. Andromeda tucks in then. And I reach in and pat him on the head too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Because you're not used to you're not used to uh, Having having somebody else help with that. <laughs> yeah, man. I see you on the warm side. Close the lid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're heading down to med, you said? Um, no, I'm heading I'm going oh. to, you know, walk I'm walk so I'm just kind of walking down the hall and I'm gonna tell Andromeda I'm like, hey, you know, you you can do what you need to. Um you know, once, once you know, I, I, I guess we can we can program. We've programmed the the ship to automatically jump as soon as the last of us enter hypersleep. Is that how that typically works? Uh, yeah. Mother knows what to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, we um, you said you have access to 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 uh, Helen and Titanic's logs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Titanic was a WI representative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was I was planning on taking a look at his stuff as well. Okay. Yeah. I'd be interested. I I I'd be interested to know what he knows. Well, if I find something that's appropriate that should be disseminated, then that'll definitely happen. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna kind of slowly, you know, walk down the hall. <laughs> And uh, let's see. I kind of stop at the captain's quarters and just kind of look in it. Mm-hmm. And then I continue on down and I go down to uh, my place and then just kind of throw everything on the bed, throw my, my pile folder on the bed as well. Mm-hmm. Kind of wrap up the blanket and throw everything over my shoulder and, you know, walk out and just kind of look at, just kind of shake my head and head on down to the captain's quarters. Drop my stuff on the floor. Um, find a hiding spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
And I look into, um, I pull up Titanic's logs first because I, ca- I can't, I can't bring myself to pull into, to pull into Helen's stuff first. Okay. So it's the one that says uh, communication, correct? Yep. They All go, right. the oldest is at the bottom. Okay. All right, so I am with all this wave of this wave of stuff that's hitting. I'm just gonna just sit on the bed and uh, pop an MDMA pill. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> that is absolutely what Ward would do. Yeah. In this in this situation, knowing that. A third of the crew is in cryo. A third doesn't need to be in cryo. And me, I'm just waiting. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to pop that and just, just kind of lay back. Yeah. Yeah. So however long it takes for that to wear off, I'll start to kind of stumble my way back. Okay. To the cryo deck. So I don't, I don't know how long it takes for that to... <laughs> <laughs> for that to chill. <laughs> I, mean, I don't I don't remember, but time is not too important right now. Yes. Yes. So we'll just say you got you went for a ride for a while. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I am not pleased with myself as I'm as yeah. I'm coming down from that heading into the cryo deck. Um but I, I, I know that it's a it's a crutch. Uh-huh. So um so on the cryo deck, I'm going to uh, hit the hit the radio and say, um, "Andromeda, I'm I'm bedding in on the cryo deck." So I don't know if it's something I can. I don't know if I can do it myself. A few seconds later, you're right there. All right, so I'm I'm just I've she popped, popped the I've popped the um. The hydration pill, which I will remove from inventory in a second here. Um, I popped the hydration pill, and I was just laying in the pod, just kind of staring off at the ceiling and when she arrived. And her head pops over top of yours, and she says, "You ready to go night night?" And I reach over and I kind of put my hands in her hair. I'm like, "Put me down, put me under. I'm ready to go to sleep, please." Okay, and that's what she does. She puts you down. And you go to sleep. Right, and let me remove the hydration pills because we used two more of those. In addition to the one that I pulled earlier. Well, I got to remember even what job we were on. What was it? Um, if I can find the, find the picture. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're going to... Ethia. Um, GJ one one two eight. It's job twenty one point four. Oh, you're picking up, right? Are you picking up? Um, I thought that we loaded up at. Yeah, the we other picked place. up. We're picking up, I believe. Oh, we're oh we're there. We're going to pick up. Okay. Yeah, Actually, no. Up. You are going to deliver. Deliver. Mm-hmm. You're going to eat Eth- Ethia. Are we? Yep. I thought we dropped off all the people at the last one, and then we. we oh, you're right. Up. You're right. Because I have it. It says next trip is two job one two one one four two GJ one one two eight. So yeah, we uh we do pick up stuff. Yeah, because we dropped off and got paid. Yeah, and there it wasn't like, the, and we didn't pick up anything at the location where we got paid. No, I didn't even get to drink as much as I wanted. <laughs> yeah. So we actually don't have any cargo right now. Huh. Did we mess up then? Because I no. thought we were by the frontier. We are. We're heading there. So we're pretty close to the frontier. We're on the edge. Yep. Remember that was the whole idea. I freaked out that we're going close to the frontier. And everybody's like, no, no, it's perfectly fine. Look what happens. Yep. So because we were headed up towards uh, sector 949, uh, 26. 86.CET, where we're headed. 
and we stopped at 1193B, NN31193B, because I've got the, I've got it marked on the map. Hmm. So we were headed to um, left negative seven up to, that's where we were headed. I had that marked as our destination. So whichever that is. That might be. So we might have to go piece some stuff together. Nope. Yep. We did pick stuff up. We did pick stuff up then. I thought because so. Because that's, the that's the destination. Yeah. 268G. That is the destination. So we, we must have actually picked stuff up. Wait, hold on, wait a second. Yep, because yeah, it says because un unevent because yeah, I have wrote, written down here that we had uneventful travel to GJ one one two eight, the Atmos. That's where it was a new colony. Stuff was being filled. We landed. We loaded stuff up. Cause uh, yeah, because we spoke to the colony rep. We spoke to the company agent. Oh, you're right. I, I yep. have in my notes. I do like these small colonies. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> So, okay, yes. Yeah, because so that, that's where we're headed. That's, that's pretty close to the core systems, and I remember you were, you guys were in the frontier right now, to the west. You got pulled out of your trip. Yep. Um, I would have told it to plot the. Yeah, we don't want to be in the frontier. We want to be back in the. Uh, yeah, I got the, you. Right. You, uh, three world empire. Yeah, we would have. I would have plotted a directly back to the three world empire and said, Hey, take us that route. Right. Or cable would have. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I can send to you. Let's see. Try the yep. new snipping tool that, uh, windows 11 has. <laughs> Hmm. And send it over into the chat. All right. You should get something in chat any second now. And yellow is where we were, and green is where we're going. Yeah, that's right. Yep. That's what that's I knew that would be helpful to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Back on track. Light detour. <laughs> All right. After some time, Cable and Ward, you both wake up. And Andromeda is there to help you get up. Okay. All right. Uh, water, water, water everywhere. Everybody gets water. Yep. <laughs> Stretch, yep. y'all. Um, is Imogen up? No. Okay. So she stayed and she stayed in cryo. Uh, Andromeda speaks up. She says, I decided to leave uh, Imogen and cryo until you all think it's ready. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the idea. Yeah. Um thank you. If we hadn't told you that, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um I I will I do want to take a look at the logs that you um before we, you know, land anywhere. I want I want to take a look at those logs. Um can you upload them into the the captain's logs or send them send them to my um send them to my quarters. The uh, how the log computer system is done. Did you, don't you have station? a yeah? Don't you have a copy of the logs from the space station? I do. Any, anything that you may have? Um, um shoot. I. They are. Uh, <laughs> if uh, shoot, I probably should have did this, um, but I didn't. They're encrypted. Um, which means I need to break them, uh, which means it's going to take time. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let's shoot. I probably could have did that on the trip, but uh, 
Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, and go ahead and start that breaking. I don't know if you you have to do that, in, uh, you know, in your own um, matrix or if you have to, you know, use the ship for that. Um, it's gonna be a combination of me and mother. Yeah. Well, let's let's get it going on mother as much as she can do. Um, maybe she can do a little bit of work while um, while we're down trying to get you repaired. Okay. Is that something that can do, will that work, or both of you need to be there for the whole no, time? No, no, no. No, we can we can okay. start. Yeah. All right. Um, can you uh, whip up? Do you know, do your best to whip up some food for us in the mess hall? Um, for Cable and I, while I go and check on um, check on Mother, I just need to make sure that everything went well with the with the jump. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, yeah. Just not nothing happened. We were. We were. We are you made a, a, I look at the drama. Trip. Are you able to make cornbread with one arm? Uh, of course I can. Yeah, I'll make some cornbread. Good. I think and we all use some down to that, You see the first smile on her face since leaving the space station, and uh, she runs away. <laughs> well, well I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run, run after her and kind of catch oh. her, and you know, got to catch her in the hallway, yeah. and say, um. Kind of lean over and say, "Hey, um, go look in the med lab, and go look in the uh, when you walk in to the left, the third cabinet from the left. Look up in the top, and there's a box in there. Inside that box, you'll find some coffee beans. Get enough for um, uh, two cups, or if you want a cup, get enough for three. And but you know, don't don't tell." Don't tell Cable, you know, where, where, where this came from. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And All she right. starts running again. All right. So then I, I head towards mother. Okay. Cable, what are you up to? I will sit there and start getting my breakfast going. Um, I brought my bottle of booze and I'm already having like a small sip, just a little bit, just to kind of ease my tension. <laughs> okay. Um, I pour a little bit into goop that you get, we serve. Like I just pour a little bit in and I eat the goop with it. You're in the mess hall. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me move myself. I keep forgetting move myself. I got you. <sighs> um, question for the GM: When yeah. you're in hypersleep, it does it freeze your bodily? Functions. I think we asked it, this already once, didn't we? No, it do, it doesn't. That's right. You still digest shit and stuff like that. Yes. It's just really, really slow. That's why you're so hungry. Okay, I was, try, I was yeah. trying to figure out if I would still feel the effects of the MDMA when I got out, but you know, the answer would be no. Then okay, no, nope. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm yeah. So I guess I go into mother and say, um, all the the trip went without incident. I trust. Yep. No incidents. Um, any messages while we were out? And that means messages for, for myself as captain or for um, Helen or for Titanic. There is a message which I uh, don't have printed out. But a long, long, you know, um, while I do that, can you f guys quickly figure out how long of a trip that was that we just took? I so will. Yeah, I got a lot of mathematics I have to do, though, still from the previous one. Okay. Because they got all thrown off because I had it all calculated for the whole route, and then obviously we stopped that way, so I had to go back and recalculate all that partial route, then the up north route, and how much time passed. Okay. But we have, yeah, and you can use that picture because, you know, well, it's the amount of time that passes because it's it for us it matters is how much time passes because it's how we get right. paid. So it's not really the distance that just tells us how far we went. And my theory on it is, what I was planning on doing is sometime in our break we could get on here and calculate all of that because that yeah it looks like longer. we would we would have gone a full six blocks you know the length yeah, of six saying, blocks so that's 72 days mm -hmm. so we'd have i just have to do all the math and calculate put it all in the chart and everything and i could do that while we're on break okay 
And while we're on the topic of GM, I think we have to find somebody to play Imogen so that if he decides to sell out Imogen, it has to be a real person sitting there talking to him. Was that now? I said, when we find somebody to play the parts, we find somebody to play Imogen so that if he tries to sell Imogen to somebody, he has to look somebody in the eyes and do the you know, oh. Discord chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, please don't let me go. Yeah. And then he'll have to like... That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> I think we have to upgrade. I think like I think you have to upgrade to Captain Medic, which I think would be more fun. <laughs> um. So yeah, was there a? What you said there was a message that came in. There is. It's just um. I'll have to actually type it out. But, okay. Okay. Um, All right. Because. Yeah. It more or less says um, it's a classified log. Uh, okay. That more or less we, says. Uh, we also Kate, could. Oh, sorry, go ahead. It's Kate Parker asking for an update, and it's come in a couple times. No, but I was going to say, if we wanted to, we also could get together just the three of us to find all this stuff too if we need to. Yeah, yep. for sure. Yep. So it looks like Kate Parker is, you know, she's starting to use caps and stuff like that. You know, where are you? What's <laughs> happening? Because it's it's probably been a few weeks. Okay, so, so, so the time stamp on this, this came in while we were in hypersleep? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I guess nobody would have known about the stage, the station blowing up <laughs> then. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's not in all caps. Okay. All right. So, where are we? Are we at? Are we at our destination then? You're in orbit of Athea. Esthe- all right. I think I'm saying that right. All right. Well, let's let's maintain an orbit, and let's. I will head back to the mess hall. Um. So, go ahead. I really screwed up the log. I'll have to go in there and fix it. Well, that's what I think. I have to go through all my stuff. One day, next couple weeks before I go, I'm going to go through and just get all the mathematics done on this. Um, Because now I know where we left from the space station. I'll do all the math and I'll do the math north and I'll get all the pay worked out. Yeah, okay. And then I guess uh, we'll split up Titanics and uh, no shit. Well, then probably joking. will happen. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all in the mess hall now? Uh, yes, yes, we're all in the mess hall. And yes. um, I'm eating. So they're eating, waiting for the cornbread. Oh, it's there. No, oh, I'm already eating corn- was, So that I'm already eating cornbread in my goop of right. alcohol. <laughs> So, um, or when you walk up, you smell the coffee. Excellent. I'm gonna I'm walk up and uh, pour myself a cup. If there's any left, is there any? No, left? I haven't poured a cup yet. I've still been eating my goop. <laughs> See, I go up and pour one right after you, and I say, "Would you like to make it Irish?" And I hold my bottle out. <laughs> I say, "I." Uh, Light, it's an old saying. Lightly, lightly. I, I tap a little bit of his glass. I tap a little bit of mine. Um, is there is there enough left for Andromeda? Did she make enough for herself as well? Uh, she won't drink it. So she didn't. She didn't make enough for herself. No. Okay. All right. So so I guess we emptied the pot with uh, with two of us. I'm say, yeah, we need to we need to have a chat. See, I know you're not. I know you're not a company man. Um, what 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 are your thoughts on uh, WYU? Well, to be honest, I just fly for whoever pays me the most to do it and uh you know i i have no real judgments the only my biggest issue is the the military aspect the connection to the military because every time we've been dealing with these military guys it always seems to be a problem is it, is it that you just don't like the military or that it becomes a problem just because it's problematic i don't know ever since that whole dog incident i mean you know 
that that just didn't sit well with me. And I don't know. I hey, I, I have no issue flying whatever cargo you want me to fly, but I also want to know what I'm flying. All right. So the reason I ask is, um, and they let all those people die on that planet. Yeah. It 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 seems that the company was aware of of uh, Imogen, but just that she existed. They've been looking for her. Yeah. Um. That's all I've been able to all I've been able to really ascertain is that they they they're looking for her. Now I don't know if this I don't know if they're looking to try to actually help her, or if they're you know trying to experiment or I, I don't, I don't know. Um, hopefully whenever, um, whenever we get the logs decoded that ho- I'm hoping that will answer some of the questions, especially the way that uh, Imogen was referring to her dad as her dad. Um, I think that he, he obviously had a connection with her. So anything that he wrote down in his confidential logs should hopefully, um, Help, help, help direct our decision. But until then, um, I suggest she stays in cryo and nobody should know that we've got her. I definitely agree with the, uh, no one should know we have her. I mean, it um, won't affect her to be in cryo, so I don't see a reason not to leave her in there. Right. Is there anything that you... <laughs> Can we examine her? Um, we can bring her out of cryo and examine her. Um, Charles, you have a way to turn... This sounds terrible, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way, to Is there a way to turn her off temporarily? Like, uh, cause we know she's been experiencing blackouts. Um, so I'm wondering if that was her being deactivated. Uh, almost like a failsafe. Or a but kill switch. I'll well, see. I, I, I could. I, well, I don't. I'd, I'd hate it to activate anything that's called a kill switch because that suggests that there's no coming back from it. Um, and I would hate to, you know, switch, you know, switch her off and her to be designed to where she can't be switched back on in that body. Mm. I, w- I would hate to. Hey, I'd hate to do that. Um, whether she a, whether she knew she was Android or not, I wouldn't want to do that. So, is there any way we could put her to where we could examine her? Like you would almost, if we were to pretend, let's just assume, right? So she goes into cryo sleep, even though she doesn't go to cryo sleep, right? <clears throat> what if Ward was to pretend that he's putting her under for a procedure, and you insert an IV that just has saline or something? <laughs> And you tell her it's a drug that will put her to sleep. Would that maybe trigger her Android features to put her into like a temporary sleep? That is a very, very good idea. I mean, it, it, it's, it's possible, but you but know, if her Android wait, body wait, goes wait, now, cryo sleep. Did, did, the all, nap, did the nap relief help when I gave her the nap relief? Did I notice a visible change in her when I gave her the nap relief? On the station. No. No. Okay. So so then I say, um, now I I gave her a nap relief, remember, to, to try to help calm her down. Um I couldn't visibly tell if that did anything or not. Well, somehow they've obviously been doing stuff with her. They can't always be putting her in a cryo sleep, logically, because it'd be hard to examine her. Well, maybe so that's what I'm saying is maybe may gotta the be logs. some way they're putting her into that blackout or whatever they are. Well, being a fellow scientist, her her dad, or whatever he was for her, should have kept good enough logs to be able to tell at least how that was well, taking place. And possibly maybe a drama. Do you know anything like that? What's your thoughts? Uh, well, it, my thoughts are this is a um, this is a unregulated android. So, and and that's why why you won't, sir, is to remedy the situation. That's my guess. Well, let's say they've done something. Let's say those things been done to her. That would be, you know, a curiosity. Why would not be? I mean, 
there's plenty of it's it's not illegal to build your own android you know well, then why would they care if we built one why would they care if the other people built one right that's that's my point well that's i guess where i'm thinking of it. like what there's unless there's something about her specifically either knowledge base she has knowledge of something that's occurred that they don't want getting out like she has knowledge that they they don't want her to have help me obi two, kenobi or my only hope <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> or number two there's something about her that they want to know more about like is there something different about her than any other android technologically that they are curious about dr su young <laughs> well that yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i caught that um there's no way the gm caught that <laughs> Um, he's not paying attention to well enough, see? <laughs> well, I, that's not that's not his wheelhouse anyway. Really? Mm-hmm. He doesn't know it that well? Like, even that well? You don't know Star Trek at all, do you? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. No. Dr. Yeah. Sue Young, that's the yeah. uh, creator of Data. <laughs> um, no. So, I... I think it may be best for her that we at least postpone letting company know that we have her. I agree, but I'm just wondering if we should look into her before we oh, yes. even land on that planet. Like, <laughs> yeah. they, oh, for all yeah, we know, yeah. they're going to go looking for her. I mean, we've now, they know we've landed on that space station, right? So we have two choices. We have to tell them a lie that we found nothing. And then there's no way to tell them after without them knowing we lied in the first place. Um... And then the second side of the coin is, so I almost think we should know as much stuff as we can before we choose to lie to them. I'm, a, I'm, I am much okay as we with don't, that. As much as we don't, like, they do pay our bills. Um, yeah, yes, they do pay our bills. So I think we need to know as um, much information as possible. Now, the only thing is, there's the other side of the coin. If we learn too much about it, are we putting ourselves in danger? <laughs> Well, it's like the um, mafia. N- n- neither of us are <laughs> Android experts. So no, but I, we have an Android. So that might help us in the situation of figuring out. Like, yes. Andrava, what's your experience with other Androids? Like, what? how much knowledge do you have? Um, how much experience do you have dealing with them? I mean, I've read, you know, plenty. Um, it's not like I'm preloaded with anything like that. You know, but I've learned. I've gone. That's what I do. I, I read books and things like that while while you all sleep. Um, Could you examine her to see if there's anything out of the or? Well, okay. First question: Could we examine her without her knowing we're examining her? Uh, see, she's a child. She thinks she's a child. You know that. <laughs> yeah. First of all, that's it. She thinks she's human. That's number one. Yeah. And number two, this uh, again is an unregulated, unregulated android. So. Who knows? Well, our best shot is to find a way to try to examine her without obviously her knowing she's an android. So that would involve us either try to trick the android into thinking it's going through a procedure. Like, if we put you in a cryo sleep, do you go to cryo sleep, Andromeda? What? Like, if you went into a cryo chamber, would you go to cryo sleep? I could, yeah. Like, but you would have to knowingly know you're turning yourself off almost, or like, like it's, what is cryo sleep for you guys? It's a it's a behavioral uh, function. So, are you aware the whole time you're in cryo sleep? Um, it I can be. You know, it all really depends on what the captain wants. If we open the cryo sleep chamber, will she instantly wake up? Well, that's the way those pods operate. <laughs> you open it well, wait, wait, she's not getting anything from the actual pod. It's her body turning herself off, isn't it? It's like just. My guess is that she uh, wakes up like any other human would. That's my guess. So my thought process is: how do we, how do we make her think she's in a cryo sleep so we can examine her closer? See if there's anything different. I mean, we we can always examine. You could ask her. In yeah. <laughs> no, I'm asking. Would you tell her that she's an android? I. Mm, 
Well, given, I mean, given she wouldn't have, I don't think if, if she knew she was an Android, um, Jeff, yeah, have, she was. yeah. Um, Andromeda, have you ever known of a Android with weak physical strength? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. So that, that is something that they will intentionally build in then. Okay. Yeah. That, the, the, I mean, we're built for, for functional purposes. There's no reason to have strength in like a, uh, a scientist Android per se. Okay. So why don't we wake her up? I mean, we have to wake her up to do anything. We have to find, every show we're going to find out we have to at least be near her. Um, and then we see if we can find a way to get her to be examined. You know, the interesting thing too was in the logs that were opened on uh, Aeon, it was called Aeon Station, by the way. Yep. That's where you were. Um, her father treated her as if she she was a child. And by the way, I just put those in the unclassified logs. I okay. forgot. Um, ah, I got you. Okay. Yeah, those those were already. If you remember, you guys yep. got that last session. Well, so yeah, we have to assume she thinks she's a child. We don't want to throw that off. So then, what's the next step? Examine her as if, as if she's a child. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. But if she saw milky white substance, what she would know, she might even know that is unusual for her. I mean, we don't know. All right. So, yeah, lo looking at, if I if, look at, I just went and looked back at the unclassified logs again. Um, I don't know. Actually, I would have to go to another room to look at that. Can I say that I'm going by memory on those? Yes. Because, yeah, because we did look at those. Yep. Yeah. Um, remember when we were looking through the logs, it says that her temperature rises, she begins to sweat, the tremors kick in and she blacks out. Okay. So there may be some sort of regulation thing that's not working correctly. Um, well, if they could fix that, I don't think we could fix that. So I assume that's well, not fixable by us. Well, they said that he didn't have the right equipment to do it. Well, I don't believe we probably um, have. Maybe we could get some of the equipment while we're requesting equipment to fix Andromeda's arm. Well, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we could slip some of that equipment in there. But again, still, we have to go through the concept that when we, we're going to have to lie to them. They're going to ask. Well, uh, they have already asked. Oh, um, okay. We did, we did receive a transmission where they have they have... They have asked. But have you responded? I, I have not responded yet. Okay. Um, and um, they're they're so, not yet aware of where they're not yet aware of where we are. So while well, we wake her up, and you can play doctor with an android. Yep, I can play doctor. Um, and. Let's see. I can I can set something up with kind of like a, a shield that she can lay down, you know, she can, you know, kind of kind of put her head up against it idea. and I can I can talk to her and you know I can I can learn more. Um I, I want to learn more well, about, you know, her her, her I dad. I mean, if she can talk through all that and y'all can be on the other side. Well, I see the other way around. I mean, maybe I'll there's the Android things she can do. <laughs> Well, I'd say I have no skill of touching anything on the body, so I can sit there and talk to her. You know, I can be the, uh, maybe she has a sense of humor. <laughs> um, and I'll chat with her, and you guys can examine her, because that would make sense to the medic is examining her and not the pilot. Because <laughs> that would just yeah, be a little I'll, odd. Yeah, I've, and I have a few, uh, a, a few tricks in the, the head department that I can few well, questions I'll chat with her and, ask of her, yeah. uh, that kind of stuff. Um, I've had a few uh, few run-ins myself with some head doctors. I was so, going to say with um, androids. But. No, not with androids. But because she thinks she's a child, we can. there are things that we can ask Boy. her about her past, and we can be monitoring and 
Andromeda, um, are you able to detect... You're able to see things with more detail up close than we are, correct? Your, your vision is a little more acute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I what I, what, so. Yeah, what I want to look for is to see if there's anything towards... On, on her backside that I can't see. Uh, something that shows that there might be um, a opening space or something like that that she okay. wouldn't she wouldn't see because obviously, you know, we can't see the back of our own head. Like surgical? Um, yes. Okay. Like if she has been... Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense at all. Um, there has to be a way that they were interfacing with her. And the best place for that would probably be there or inside of her mouth. Um, and I'm, I can check inside of her mouth. I'm, I'm a doctor. I, I can, I can definitely do that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's examine her. Um, should we, should we pull ourselves a little out of orbit so that we don't, um, so nobody asks about us or anything? I would imagine by now they know we're here, but yeah, they. I'm pretty sure they already know we're here. Um, maybe you should send out a message that we're doing some repairs. Um, I can, I can do that. I can do that, and that'll buy us some time. Like, just let them know that due to you know incident prior that we just need to repair a ship, and then we'll play. All right. So, um, I'll go wake her up with uh, a drama if you want to send another message, and then we'll meet you up. We'll get her. Maybe we'll bring her bed. Uh, um, the, the, I, not the bed. I, bed, I bed. would. I actually want to be there when she wakes up. I want to because I know what we are. What we look like when we wake up. Okay. I want to see how she handles the temperature change. That kind well, of. Well, I'll just keep eating and drinking as you see me pour but more. But don't drink too much. But. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Not, I, not, not, not too much Irish there. All right. I was adding my goopy. That makes goop taste right. a little bit more functional. So I'm going I'm to run up to the bridge to uh, just send out a message. And when he leaves, I still pour some more in my goop. <laughs> um, do I need to tell the message out loud or do I need to text it to you? Uh, you can say it out loud. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to say um, uh, whatever planet this is, wherever we're headed. Oh, Athia. <laughs> Athia or Athia. Athia. Okay, it is uh, the colony mission. Is it WI colony? Uh, okay, or I'm going to send a message that says, uh, Ethia, this is the Halifax. Um, we have a delivery from uh, Vignuris. It was a bit of a bumpy ride. We are doing some self repairs. It may take us a few days, but we'll be down as soon as we can. And that's it. I'm not going to sign it. I kind of run up. I, I kind of run up the bridge and kind of let him know. You may also want to tell them that we had issues with our communications. That we were struggling with some communication issues, and maybe that's why they would not think we got the messages to you for a little while. Well, I wasn't. Well, I I I hit send because I had already hit yeah. send before you before you did that, and I'm gonna say, um, well. It wasn't the station that was looking for her. So I think it's okay just to broadcast a message to the station. Okay. Because it was a it was a different individual that's Well, I mean, if they were asking for her, at some point you're gonna have to respond to them. So it's at some point we have to let them know that we had a communication issue, maybe. And we will deal with that. But right now I think this has covered us to say, hey, you know, we're just doing some repairs, we're in orbit. I, I I think we'll actually be covered on this. I mean, do you think we should send anything else out? No, I, no I agree. I agree. Yeah, I think it was short, sweet to the point. Like, yeah, oh, well, they're we here. They're in orbit. They're they're doing repairs. So if they don't respond for a few days, maybe it's because they're doing repairs. So I, th- I think I, hopefully I bought us a few days. Um, this is to uh, Ethia, right? The planet Ethia. Yes, to the yeah to okay. the um the station the place that we were going to be docking and landing. That that's where I was sending it to. Well, Ethia know that we've. Is there a chance that that person has been? Us. Well, no. I'm saying the people that were expecting you to respond about what we found in the station, right? Would they no, know that you I'm, just contacted Ethia? 
at some point? And you still uh, had to respond to them? I don't I, I don't know how that works. Um Me I would either. assume that I would assume that they're not monitoring all communications from every ship all the time. Well they might be waiting for us. They know where we're headed. Well, I mean, if they were to fly by, they would see there's visible damage on the outside of the ship. So I think we're still covered on that. Okay. Um, I was going to say, what you could do is uh, just send a jarbled message to the person with like incoherence. And then later on, we send back and say we had a communication issue. Kind of like, you know, the, oh, my phone's breaking. <laughs> like, oh, that would have that been great. But we just sent a crystal clear message down to the surface. That's so. true. Yep. Darn. <laughs> it's too and, late. And it has been acknowledged. That's all, all right. that you know. It's just a let's, uh, Well, until we find out we might have a issues, let's get going because okay. we don't want to burn any time we do have. All right. And I'm, I'm going to program in for Mother to um, kind of play a tone, a unique tone um, over the intercom. Should we receive a message? Because I want, I want a audible notification A message in the, in, in the med lab, if we if we if there are any incoming messages, there is um, just about finished. <laughs> okay, that's that's it's in the classified logs. Um, that's about as best I can come up with off the top for now. Okay. Um, I started to look at you, just waiting to see what you say. I'm like, well, they think we're still at the space station. Oh. Well, um, we can let them know. Okay, so we can say that communications were an issue and that we had damage. Or they I would did. assume they would. I mean, this just this just now came in, correct? No, no, I'll say this was in before you did all that. I say before we before we jumped, this was in. Nah, uh, this was there after when would you woke up? Once we woke up, that okay. So both of the, uh, all three of those were there when we broke yeah. up, woke up. Correct. Okay. Yes. So if you want to backtrack a little bit, that's fine. I'm cool with it. Okay, so we would have discussed that. No, I think we I think we can work with this because we haven't been have been here for long. The only thing that would have changed is we could have, uh, we would have potentially sent a message differently. Well, let's, well, let's discuss it. And then, well, if you want to tell okay. me what it is. So what, yeah, what's, what's going on is, uh, they, they think that we're, the contact thinks that we're still at the space station and, and has, uh, sent a crew there to assist. I think that we need to tell them I, I'm wondering if we need to tell them that the space station was destroyed and to stay away from it. Cause I, I wouldn't say hate. stay away from it. Maybe we should not get into the idea of what we saw, didn't see or any of that stuff yet. All we had to say is say that the space, that the space station, station was destroyed. Was destroyed. And then <laughs> say, I think we're on the same page here. Oh wait, space station is destroyed. Dealing with damages will reply as soon as, you know, solved. And like sort of, so like almost like we, Maybe can't communicate really well, just in case it's very short. And you know, you even put in two casual. Oh, don't put in casualties. Well, we're going to explain casualties at some point. So, uh, <laughs> I would just say two casualties, space station destroyed. We'll communicate when issues resolve a ship. Send that out, and we send the same thing kind of to the planet with like a very basic. Are we Are we able to roll back what we sent to the planet? Yeah, he yeah. said good. Okay. Yeah, you can. So we All can make right. decisions based on that. So then with the plan, you just said spe- uh, ship issues will resp- will land when incapable or something. We can say that everything we were typing was maybe coming, having issues, or we could play dumb a little bit. <laughs> we said, you said both of those out. Then we could go do our stuff, and that should buy us a little bit of time. She won't know where we are, really, unless she finds out from the planet we're here, because we didn't tell her where we are. <laughs> so it's kind of like playing a little bit of dumb with... And it gives us some time to talk to Imogen. 
Okay, do we want to see so far sending those two messages? We have not been untruthful. No, we haven't lied. Everything is still that gives us all our options. We, and we are having ship issues. We are having ship issues. And we're not saying we have communication issues. We're just saying we have ship issues. And we're saying it in a very basic way. And so, like, we have both options later on. I don't want to say we'll land when capable. Um, well, yeah, we'll land when capable. Like, we'll land as soon as we can. Because we don't know if we're capable of land. We do have an airlock issue. So maybe we're assessing that. If you're going to send something to WI, I would like to have that response. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can just reply to it in classified logs. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess we can say, and I'm going to, I'm, I'm at the terminal typing this out with you. With you, yeah. Yeah, with yeah with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with so, yeah with cable here. So my thought is, we say space station destroyed. And what uh, was the space, the space station name? Was Aeon? Yeah, I wouldn't even go. Yeah, I just say station destroyed. I wouldn't even go with space station. I just say station destroyed. So I think it's simplified as possible. Uh, two casualties. I let them know about the casualties. Because we're going to have to tell them about that anyway. There's no way out of that one. We'll respond when. Uh, we'll respond. Ship issues will respond when capable. Something like that. Yeah, having having ship so just like the other one said, having yeah ship issues. Well, I would say having just ship issues. So like again, leaving everything as simplified as possible. You like it could be a communication issue or anything. <laughs> it worse goes worse. We just say words. Issues will words respond. Not the brightest bulb of the bunch. He's very you know illiterate. <laughs> so what are we saying? Is we'll that- respond. Like or when capable, because yeah. that that we'll sounds like we're having as a communications issue, and I don't want I, them to think that, that. Yeah, we'll respond when capable, meaning like when our ship is fixed, we have to get like landed to the planet. We wanted to worry about that first. We'll respond after after. We'll respond when able. When able. Meaning, we have to get our ship to the ground. We want to get our ship to the ground. So we are going to sit in space typing stuff out. We want to fix our ship. Land. Deal with the issue. And it, all they can do, you're not a captain. What are they going to do to you? You're a medic. I'm a pilot. They can't do <laughs> crap to us. Right. They don't, have, they don't have a rep or a captain. We're safe on both routes. <laughs> Station the destroyed, is- two casualties. Ship issues will respond when able. able. Okay, Boom. if you like able, then... I like able, because able means able to take the time to type it out, or able as in it doesn't work when we try typing stuff in. <laughs> and there's not a lot to explain. That's the amazing part is, if they were to ask you a lot of questions about this, it's very simplified. Let's see. Our um, Android's missing an arm. <laughs> we lost our captain and our rep, and we have an airlock issue that we are not very capable of knowing what's wrong with because her Android only has one arm. Um, the question is, will Andromeda lie for us? That's something we do have to find out. I think Andromeda will do what the captain suggests. Right. Yeah, but we don't know who's going to be our next captain. We'll find out what we did. <laughs> if they're more apt to be, well, there, there's friendly. there honestly there should be not much hiding from the captain. In all honesty, I oh, understand no, I there's, there's little personal how- things that somebody might want to do. I, I I get that, but this is something that's pretty big. Well, I meant um, in the sense that we don't know how friendly they'll be to well and Utani's. Yeah. So. So that's why I say more simplified till we find what we're dealing with, and then we'll go from there. And if they ask to explain anything, we we'll explain it later. So when we say two casualties, I yeah, that's going to gonna add so many questions. They are not going to know if it was qu- casualties on the station or casualties on the Halifax. They're not going to exactly. know anything. So we can just leave it as loan. They have no clue what's going on. Let's leave them. Like you give them enough information that we're not trying to hide anything. 
because we're telling them there's two casualties, the ships, the station's destroyed. All we're doing is letting them know that we're not able to spend more time talking to them right now. Okay, all right. So I'm sending it. It's going to say station destroyed, period. Two casualties, period. Ship issues, comma, will respond when able, period. Perfect. All right. Then the classified logs now. Okay. All right. Then we send something. We need to send something to the surface, or do we want to wait until they send us a message? Let's wait until the surface sends yes. us a message. Let's just see. Um, we'll, leave, we'll leave that. So I'm, Do your little I, tone I, concept, and yep. we'll go work on uh, Imogen. Okay. Um, so I am going to set Mother to to alert us if there's a message. You know, I want to hear you know a tone or something over the intercom. Uh, ship wide is fine. It's just a doop, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want—I just—I just want to know so that we can be doing our stuff and be able to tell if something comes in. Okay. Okay. Um, so we have been talking on the bridge, I believe, right? Yes. Say so yes. Let's um, let's go down and make contact with Andromeda. Uh, do we uh, want her with us when we um? Yeah, I think bring... she's got. She's the only one who has any clue about. <laughs> if we have to subdue her or something, we have no clue what happens. She should be with us at all times. This android. Okay. And for all, all we right. know, that whatever happened with the Delvin, Delvin, Devin, Devin, whatever happened with Devin could happen to her. We don't have a clue really, but cause that one to snap. Well, it also could be that maybe Devin wasn't the one that it actually Why snapped. Why is the dog in our mess hall? <laughs> <laughs> so when she feeds him. Okay, right. so, um, I, 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 I've been I've been thinking about that, and maybe Devin isn't the one that actually. Maybe he didn't go crazy. I don't know. He definitely, I don't think, was talking normal. Again, concept of ghosts and dragons. We have to assume. Well, he was using the same terminology that everybody else was. Yes, he was, but the only time I've ever heard that outside of Imogen, and him is from a guy who is a lunatic on a planet. Well, we thought it was a lunatic. Well, he, he definitely he went from saying that all that crazy stuff to suddenly being completely normal. So oh, yeah. my yeah, thought yeah. process is he's not like he was like trying to warn us or tell us that he he was just talking like a high. He was What's high. He, was he saying dragons, man? Was he like that pretty, pretty, or pretty pretty close to that? Oh, okay, so, okay, yeah. So he also thought he was on drugs. So well, he, he can he's not he's not gonna be able to catch it. You know, that's just I I can tell him from a from a doctor's perspective he's not gonna be able to catch that <laughs> catch that dragon. Well, remember he was being subdued when we flew off the planet too, and yeah, he shot me an evil eye, which I assume you know would be great to go back and talk to him, but I don't think he'll talk to us because we got him arrested. Um, well, he's, he is. Way far away at this point, yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. kind of losing our conceptually. Concern, <laughs> conceptually, that means this is not completely isolated to that space station either. Yeah, so might other people. somebody knows something else that doesn't know anything. So right now, we've seen something, and I don't like knowing anything. No one else knows. The only difference is that guy was let to go walk free, so I assume it can't be that secretive. Um. I vote we get going with Imogen because we don't know how much time we have. Yep. For all we do, we're going to have a ship pull up next the, to us. Bring up to the, to the med, med bay. Yeah. All I'll right. join you down there. We'll all go all down. Right. So I will walk by and swing by the mess hall and look in. And do I see the dog in the mess hall with her? Well, when you walk in, the dog runs up to you and jumps up on you and licks you. <laughs> I suspect that I fall over because he's enormous. <laughs> yes, he is. He is big. He, put, he, he doesn't knock you over, but he pushes you back. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, so you, you are a good boy. You're a good boy. Mm-hmm. Boy, girl. That's true. Boy or, I, I'm, I, I, can't, I, can't, I, I can't tell. Um, anyway, I guess I'm trying to pet him. I, he's probably, I don't know, is, is he nasty? Or is he... Uh, he looks nasty, but no, he's very friendly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. He looks nice. Like, okay. Um, he looks Andr- scary as all hell. Andromeda, let's can we um can we put him in the storage back into his uh, storage bay and let's go and uh, wake up uh, Imogen. We've, yeah, we've sure. no got problem. some ideas. Okay, one dog. And then I kind of then as we are um, walking up 
to the cryo deck. I'm kind of filling her in saying, hey, we, we want to kind of, we're not going to let anybody know yet that we have her. Um, so that includes you, um, unless you hear otherwise from me or, yeah, unless you hear otherwise from me, don't tell anybody that we have her. All right, you got it, boss. Can you, can you do that? Yep. And then I uh, asked the question, can it, androids be captains? And can androids what? Be captains of ships? Um, it's, I don't think that's ever happened that I know of. And I look over at Ward and go, well, guess what? If anything happens to him, it might be the first one. Because <laughs> I don't want this job. Well, it... <laughs> <laughs> I just laugh a little bit, chuckle. Um, like, well, you know, like, something yeah. happens to me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at the image and say, all right, say, all right uh, let's get some uh, water bottle. We got a water bottle for her and everything. We got a, I mean, she's, she's a, a child coming out. We got to remember uh, that. I'm going to come, I'm going to pretend I'm getting out of my cryo tube. I'm going to go crawl over my cryo tube and act like I'm waking up. So give me a water bottle too. All right, well, I'll go ahead and, go ahead and uh, throw him one and I'll pour out half of it on the ground and then put the lid back on it and then throw it to him. Yeah, like, I like, I'll just see sitting up in my cryo tube. You're, you're, you're in flight here, dude. <laughs> All right, let's uh, look at Andromeda and say, let's, let's initiate. Um, okay. De-, de cryo. <laughs> All right. The uh, um, Andromeda hits a few buttons and the cryo tube opens and... Imogen begins to wake up. And when she wakes up, she wakes up just like any other human would. You you would not know otherwise. I'm like, I'm like and I say, I say, okay, I say, hey, hey Imogen, um, here, here's a here's here's some water for you. Uh, let me let me let me help you out here. I know it's always tough coming out of coming out of uh, cryo. Her eyes get huge as she's staring at Andromeda. Oh, this is our this this is Andromeda. She is one of us. Um, yes, she's missing an arm. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try to get that fixed. She's Devin. she's <laughs> she's safe. Nope, she's not. She's not Devin. Andromeda, you wanna you wanna say something? <laughs> uh, uh, Andromeda tries to. Uh, she doesn't go towards Imogen, but she, she's she just. Uh, just, yeah, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Um, I put myself in between, in between the two of them, and you know, kind of, kind of kneeling down next to her, you know, helping her, helping her with everything. And I'm gonna say, hey, look, look at all the tattoos she's got on her arm there. So have you ever seen a, you ever seen a, um, you ever seen an android with tattoos like that? Isn't that neat? Uh, Andromeda's all like. Showing them off and stuff like that. Or showing one of them off anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I guess she looks down at her other arm and is like, oh, well. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we've, we've, we've been on here for a while with her. Um, we, haven't had, we haven't had any issues. So I, 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 think she's, I think she's very safe. I, I think that what happened with Devin is unique to him. Not only that, you know, she's a completely different model. So, and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm down, you know, at her level, you know, trying to, trying to comfort at this point. He uh, looks up at you. She's like, well, you haven't lied to me yet. I'm still, I'm still alive. Very um, much so. Um, and we may have actually, I, I need to, I don't need to draw any more blood. I, I don't need to do that, but I would like to, you know, check you over again after cryo to make sure that you know, everything was, everything was good. Is that, you know, would your dad normally do that for you? Is that what you Yeah, do? yeah, I mean, I'm so used to being, I don't like needles and stuff like that, but I mean, I'll do it if I have to. I'll, you know, if you need to run x-rays or anything like that too, it's fine. You know, I, I'm, I'm used to it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, GM, I don't believe we have a x-ray, anything x-ray on our ship, do we? Oh, we do. Yes, you do. I was not aware of that. Well, think, I'll, go, uh, I'll join you guys to med bay. Think, that changes that changes a lot of stuff. Think, I was thinking think, that our, our med bay was essentially just like a table with, you know, band aids and some ointments and stuff. You know, you have what, what uh, 
uh, shoot, what's his face? I can't think of his name right now. Um, had in the first Alien movie. Okay. And so, yeah, we can, we can, um, we could do a, uh, we could do an x-ray, um, but we would like, we would like to learn a little more about you. You've had a very traumatic experience. Um, if you want to tell us all about your dad, tell us anything about you, um, just anything you want to talk about. And we, you know, I'm helping her stretch and we kind of, you know, I said, let's, let's, do you want to get something to eat first or you just want to go straight to the med lab? I mean, that's, that's up to you. Uh, I, I, I could probably use now. I mean, I had can, her a chunk of, I, I had her a chunk of uh, cornbread. I say, I brought this from the me, uh, mess hall if you're hungry. I mean, yeah, that's enough. That's, that's fine. And, um, okay. Just, just make sure you drink that water. That's very, very important that, that you stay hydrated. You're surprised she um, eats it and drinks it. And she says, uh, do you mind if we just stop by the bathroom first on the way over? I got to, I got to pee. Um, I, we have get, one in the, uh, in the corner of the med lab. We can, we can, we can do that there. Well, and, and don't, don't, uh, Ward, don't you usually do urine samples? Cause I have to do my urine sample too after, uh, cryo. Yeah. Um, I, t I tend to forget that from time to time. Um, so I guess good time. I'll, t I'll do mine too. Don't worry, Imogen. It's standard uh, pee in a cup. Just don't miss. And That's I, uh, fine. Start, Nothing new there either. Start walking out. And then I kind of lean over and I say, sometimes he misses. <laughs> <laughs> she actually, she actually kind of chuckles a little bit. I always wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> She um she jumps up and and let, well um let's and so we can a med lab. She is uh she's do, yeah, do we actually have it? Do we actually have a bathroom in the corner of the med lab? I, I don't. Um, know. I, I just do don't urine know. samples there. You know. Yeah, we can. We'll say you do. Why not? Okay. okay. Um, to the med lab we shall go. Okay. She follows. Um, and Andromeda decides to stay behind. And as as we're as we're walking past where the the dog is, I say, I, I stop her and I say, "Remember, we have a we have a dog in there. So if you want to kind of go around the window, I I can, I can understand. But if you want to go in and take a look at him, that that's that's cool too." Oh, she's like, I love dogs. So when she goes, like, and I say, we'll say now, this is a very, very large dog. Very large. Just as she walks by, the dog goes into a rage fit and just growls, barks, and snarls at her. Um, and pretty much and scares I, her. I, so she runs away. All right, again. I, 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 I slam my fist against the window, like stop that. Uh, and I'm it's sorry. Enough. I know sure Charles is doing all that guard dog training, so maybe he got a little confused. Yeah, he just doesn't know everybody yet. <laughs> so I go grab a. I find a urine sample cup. I assume you have a urine sample cup. You want me to do my urine sample? Yep. I pull down a. I pull out. Pull down a cup, and I you know pull out the the curtain. Say here, you know, you can go stand behind here and do it. And of course I do. And I, and I, yeah, and I, I tell Image, and I was like, do you know any songs? Because I don't want to hear him fill in the cup. Do I know I any songs? I mean, I know um, Itsy Bitsy Spider. <laughs> Say, oh, oh, too late. I hear him peeing. Oh, oh Mr. Window on that one. Don't miss. I think he missed. I think he <laughs> <Ew>. missed. <laughs> and I got uh, back I, out. I had, I, and I had, I had the cup over and, uh, <laughs> You see it dripping down the sides a little Cable. bit. You know, like. <laughs> yeah, and I just kind of sit it over on a tray, and I'm like, yeah. "Sorry, I think I had a little bit too much of my like, here, coffee here. this morning." And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna move the move the curtain over to the other side of the room. I was like, "Here, you you can go behind here, and here here's a cup for you." <laughs> I'll, I'll go at, I'll go clean that up while <laughs> she does point at you, Gable, and laughs at you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that that coffee this morning was a little a little too strong. And stuff run through you. 
Um, but then she goes behind the curtain and she does she does the same. Okay. I say, well, when you're done, just put the lid on it and bring it on out. Yep. There you go. And so we take that, and then I say, okay, I say, okay, um, if you want to um lay down on the bed here, and I you know pull the bed out, you know, I, I guess we've got pillows because it's a med lab, so there's a bit of a bed there, and it's not just yep. a stainless steel table. Right. Yeah. And I, I try to make it as appealing to a child as I would know how to do, and uh-huh. you know. A couple of extra blankets, you know, any any pillows that we have are on the bed now. Yeah. Um, I would assume that we didn't have too many of them, but um, now you can you have you have supplies to make it comfortable, you know, okay. in case somebody needs to be you know bedded for a while. Okay. Um, I say yeah, if, if you if you just want to if you just want to lay back here, um, I want to you know I want to you know, check your temperature. I just want to you know I would like to look at you know. Look in your throat, that kind of you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's um, doing that and, stuff. And, uh, we, and we've got the the X-ray machine that we can slide over here. You know, that'll that'll take just literally just a few seconds for that to for that to work. And I'll I'll say to her, I say like, so I tell her like where I'm from, and I kind of ask her, where are you from? Where am I from? I've, I'm from Aon Station. Oh, so you were born there? I was, yeah. Yep, I mean, <sighs> Daddy been there all my life. So have I. Uh, well, well, the good thing is, you know, you got good friends here, and uh, so, you know, did you what, what, what? Did you go to school there? Did they who taught you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I got you know some basic education there, things like that, and um, but you know, my father was basically just doing anything he could to figure out what was wrong with me. Well, what was your favorite subject? Uh, I mean, basically it was, it was science. I mean, Oh, you love really, science. My father was groom, grooming me to, to be a scientist just like him. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm looking in her eyes and I'm, you know, checking behind her ears and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to say, and and I, and I, that, I, 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 I interrupt right. and I say, You've been having the um. Do you get headaches when you uh before you black out or before I black out? I mean, yeah. No, I'm usually all. I'm um. Well, I, I I just get really like like hot sweats and and like I start if it gets bad if 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 we can't contain it I start I start I kind of like lose consciousness and then the next thing I know I'm I'm waking up in a cryo tube. Say that this actually can happen to to people sometimes when they get really really upset. Um, but we're we're just going to make sure that if there's anything that we can do to help, you know, we're we're, we're going to try to help you. Is that if that if that's okay? That's fine. My father just you know he always told me that any kind of stress or anything that that really 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 scares me. There seems to be some kind of tie between that, between the two. Oh. Okay. Um, so, and I, and I look back up at Cable and kind of nod as I okay. go back to it. So, uh, so yeah, I've never, I was never good at science. I still try to figure out why, like, and I pick something off the ground and I pick it up and just drop it on the ground. I still try to figure out why that always happens. <laughs> what, you mean gravity? I guess you could call it that. It, things you pick it up and drop it hits the ground. Yeah, that, that's gravity. And I lean oh. over and I say, and you wonder why he misses in the cup, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and, and uh, as, as, as if she if she chuckles, I kind of stick the thing in the, stick the thing in her mouth to yeah. look down her throat. <laughs> um, yeah, when you look down there, you it's. She seems surprisingly well made. It looks like a human mouth. Um. So, so if you grew up on there, uh, have you ever have you ever gone off that station? Have you ever got go and fly anywhere or gone to any other places? No, I, I've, I always had to stay close to medical equipment 
just in yeah. case something happened. In case I had an episode. Did they, did, it, did it ever get better? Or has it still always been just as bad? Or has it improved ever? My father said it got better. Um, but I don't know. It didn't seem to ever get better to me. So if you don't mind me asking, how did it all how did it all begin the other day? Like what 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 started it all? How'd you end up in that little room in there? See now you don't have to talk about this yet if you don't like to. We we would like to know this information. Um but we understand. Yeah, she starts to shiver a little bit and she looks down and she doesn't say anything. Uh, all right. Well, like I said, I completely understand. So tell me, tell me about your mom. My mom, she she died a little while ago. Like, uh, like I, in I, the same situation in the in the in the, the the situation that happened, or before that. My father told me that she got sick. Oh, and I try to like pat her on the shoulder. Not very good at comforting, but you know. <laughs> um, well, tell me about your father. What, what, you know, what would he like to do besides science? Anything like fun you guys ever do? Uh, there wasn't really much fun. I mean, him and Devin, you know, spent so much time with me, and uh, they they just always seemed like they were, they were trying to figure out what was wrong with me. Basically. So I guess Devin was like a friend of you for a while there. Devin. Devin, Devin. used to be. Yeah. Something happened with Devin. Did, did it happen all of a sudden or was it like happened over time? It's like she zones out. She doesn't respond. Okay. I, I, and I, I, I kind of stop what I'm doing and I, I kneel down beside her and I say, was she, was, uh, was your dad trying to help Devin too? Oh no, no, Devin didn't need help. Oh, okay. No, Devin, Devin was just there to help him. Actually, help my father <laughs> with me. Well, maybe I should bring her. Do you have enough stuff information, Fair Ward? Um. Let's do the, do you want to, uh, Imogen, are you okay with us uh, doing a quick x-ray? Oh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of slide over and then pull the machine over. I guess it's a, I guess it's on an arm that swings over and, and I, I make sure that any display she cannot see. Mm-hmm. I don't okay. want an image to pop up then where, where she can see. Okay. And I would have positioned the bed just so that the display would have been back behind her where she couldn't see it. Okay. So the, um, where, where, what she goes into is kind of like how your bunker, is, your bunks are. It's kind of like a, a compartment that you go into and it shuts on the outside. Uh, oh, okay. So it's like an MRI tube. More or less. Yeah. Okay. However, um, the once she's in there, this little uh, arm pops out, and it kind of goes down her body, and then it goes kind of like a scanner, you know, um, okay. basically scans her body, and um, that's taking place at as that is taking place over the um, intercom. You hear Andromeda come on, and she's says I I am on my way to the medical center the med lab now you are not going to believe this um that's all you hear okay <laughs> the right. uh, scans so, are taking place and as as are taking place um The initial scans show pretty normal scans from what you would see of an android. 
Um, nothing out of the ordinary, but this arm keeps scanning. So you're getting more and more detailed images as each scan takes place. Uh, you start to notice that like the chest cavity down to like the pelvis area appears to be um, and it, it appears to be um, that's what I'm looking for almost humanoid no it's uh, it's vacant looks vacant Normally, in a, in a normal android, there would be a lot of moving parts there. Um, in this case, there's not. In fact, there appears to be a chamber. And... Is there anything in the chamber? The scans keep going. And as they do, Andromeda runs into the door. And she just immediately says this is not just an android we're dealing with here this is not just an android we could be in some serious danger um she said this within an earshot of imogen yeah but she can't hear you okay right okay um and and you go in and look at the uh the, scan, uh, the monitor again as the scans are coming in. And what it appears to be is a, from what you can tell, it looks like a small cryotube inside of her. Mm -hmm. And it looks like that it is carrying something that resembles one of the pods that you saw mm -hmm. on the space station. One of the eight pods. Okay. Um, That's where we are going to stop.